Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. So there has been some changes to the Instagram API and this caused so many websites to break. That means that their Instagram widget wasn't appearing once again on their websites. And now in this tutorial I want to show you how you can integrate your website with a new Instagram API using the premium add-ons for Elementor and you won't get any issues. So let's get started. So what we are going to do is we will have a feed or an Instagram feed from our Instagram account onto our website and it will look something like this. You know, someone can hover over the images, you can arrange them, you can use a grid layout or the missionary layout, or we can even set it up that when someone clicks on any of the images, they simply go directly to your Instagram account. And all those settings are right under here in the Instagram settings for that specific widget. So let me now show you exactly how you can integrate your Instagram feed into your Elementor website. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to install the free version of the premium add-ons for Elementor and the pro version because the Instagram widget is only available in the pro version of the premium add-ons for Elementor. If you have the premium add-ons for Elementor, then that's good. So you simply just come over here to the premium add-ons for Elementor menu item and click over here on the pro settings. And for myself, I've simply deactivated all the other widgets I'm not using and I only left the Instagram widget activated. By activated, it means it should be in blue and you simply save changes. I simply deactivated all the other widgets because I don't want my website to be loading up unnecessary widgets that I won't be using. So once you have your Instagram widget activated, simply open up any page with Elementor. So I have already a page over here opened up with Elementor. And then down here, you're going to search for or simply look for the Instagram widget made by the premium add-on. So we have the premium add-ons over here, or you can simply search for Instagram and you will see premium add-ons, premium Instagram feed or PA. Simply just drag over that widget to your canvas and simply click over here on login with Facebook. Now, this is a new API that is connected to Facebook, but automatically it will redirect you to your Instagram account. So when I click over here, login with Facebook, there will come some pop-ups if you get an error of pop-up is not appearing you simply enable the pop-up to show up and once that is done you simply confirm boom or once your website is connected to your instagram account you will get this kind of access token automatically filled into this box and now here you will see that your instagram feed is showing up now when i click over here i can do a couple of things for example i can make changes with a query for example i can enable redirection now this means that when someone clicks on any of these images over here they will be redirected to my instagram account i can as well disable that when i update this is how now it looks like at the moment i can also enable a light box when someone clicks on that image they'll have the images appear in the light box instead of opening up in a new tab the other thing we can do is we can enable or we can choose from the different light box layouts these you can always choose from your preference you can decide to show a caption. A caption means that the text that you added or the text that you posted once you were posting and you can as well make some changes to your caption and how it's looking like under style. Scroll down to caption and you can change the text color. Maybe you can say text color is black and you can even add a drop shadow. Okay, so the text color is white and the drop shadow is black. So, so everywhere you added a caption, it will appear just like that. You can change the font size and you make it something like that, bigger. Goes back to all what you want. So I'll simply just disable the caption. I don't want to have it enabled. And under the layout, I can choose the number of columns I want and the number of images I want to show up. So in this case, I'm using the missionary layout, but I can also choose to use a grid. So in this case, let me choose to add nine images to show up. And that's how it will look like in the missionary layout. But let me use a grid and you see how that looks like. See now, just like that. I prefer the missionary layout. So when I update, let's have a look at how it looks like at the moment. Okay. Every image appears just in its right dimensions. 
Now when I come back over here, I can choose what kind of effect when someone hovers over the image. For example, zoom out. If we say grayscale, see how that looks like. When someone hovers over the image, automatically it will turn into the colored image brightness so the image will become more brighter when someone hovers over that image just like any of that you can choose how many images appear on the mobile per row or column so you can say column or two columns on mobile see how that looks like you can even say three columns on mobile but that will be kind of too much or it depends on how you want that to be so let me just leave it to be two columns and the maximum number of images on this specific widget should be nine once i am done i can as well come back here to my styles so you can make changes to the photo box for example you can add a border type and you can give it like maybe on top bottom you can change the color of the border type something of that sort but in this case i'm not interested in any of that you can make changes to the container example by adding a solid color to the container that means that this whole container holding this feed will have that border you can change the border color of course to the color you want you can add the background something like this see how that looks like to any color that you want i don't want to add a border color at the moment you can as well add a margin padding to the container itself and that's it so there is something i also want to show you like you can add a motion effect that when the page loads up so that our instagram feed kind of floats in just like any of these widgets so we can do that by simply coming over right here select our instagram feed Come to advanced come to motion effects and we are going to add an entrance animation and that is going to be fed up we're going to give it a delay of 500 so i'm going to simply update i come back here to the preview i'm going to scroll way down and boom our instagram feed shows up over here someone can click preview the images in the light box like I said earlier if you want that your Instagram feed links people back to your Instagram account you can simply just come back here to the content come to queries and enable redirection simply update come back here to our preview or the live page simply scroll way down and here we are when someone clicks on this boom they are taken straight to your Instagram account in a nutshell that's how you can integrate the new Instagram feed using the new Instagram API in your Elementor website using the premium add-ons for Elementor in case you have any questions comments please let me know down in the comment box below otherwise thank you so much for watching and have a good time and goodbye